Biofouling is the build-up of aquatic organisms on ships and any surface submerged into the sea. It's also a pathway for the introduction of invasive species that have a destructive impact on marine biodiversity and can cost billions to the economy of a country. The International Maritime Organization is at the forefront of the global effort to address this problem through their Glow Fouling Partnerships project. Julia Alagna reports from Italy. This gulf in the Italian northern Mediterranean is home to a bustling commercial, military and touristic port, as well as, worryingly, a growing number of invasive aquatic species. The research team I am part of made a study a few years ago and uh, we explored hulls of 600 boats traveling in the Mediterranean uh, from the western to the eastern Mediterranean and we found that 70% of these boats were bringing in the hull at least one alien species in the fouling. Marine biologists from the University of Pavia are studying these waters to understand how and why these species are imported. If not treated appropriately, the hulls of these boats and ships moored here in the Gulf of La Spezia in northern Italy can be covered in biofouling, that is, the accumulation of aquatic organisms on wetted surfaces. The introduction of these invasive aquatic species in new environments by maritime transportation can become a major threat to the oceans and the conservation of their biodiversity. This Gulf of La Spezia in the Ligurian Sea hosts a lot of activities that are interfering with biofouling. In the case of boats and ships, biofouling reduces the hydrodynamic properties of the vessels and so it eventually causes major fuel consumption. More CO2 in the atmosphere, more global warming eventually. Aquaculture is among the businesses suffering from biofouling. We farm mussels, mostly mussels, and oysters. Paolo Varrella is the president of La Spezia's Shellfish Farming Cooperative, operating in these waters for more than a century. It causes uh, many problems for us. Most of the fact that uh, mussels are totally covered by biofouling, also oysters. And biofouling itself eat in the water, filters, and goes in the competition with the uh, mussels and oysters. It's a negative value for the commercial mussels. So we always had biofouling in our sea, but in the last few years, we saw an explosion of the biofouling. Marine biologists are here to understand why biofouling has become more aggressive, which new species are being introduced, and how. We did this monitoring since three years right now and we found a lot of non-indigenous species actually. In fact, uh, we found also species from uh, Galapagos, from the Indo-Pacific, from the Caribbean. Samples of these aquatic organisms are collected by leaving settlement plates in the waters during the warmest months of the year, when sea life is most active. The maritime traffic is one of the most important vectors for introduction of alien species. One might think that the larger ships and long transoceanic hulls are the main taxi for these organisms, but surprisingly, the recreational boats have proven largely responsible. Large commercial vessels uh, stay less time in a port and uh, travel uh, faster than the smaller boats. The smaller boats can spend a long time in a marina and then their travel speed is uh, slower. So they create more opportunities for species to attach when they are in the port and to resist when the vessel is moving. The Mediterranean is a heavily trafficked sea and a beloved destination for recreational boating. There are about 800 alien species in the Mediterranean, which is a kind of world record. So we are the most invaded sea of the world. To counter its effect and address this issue, a global cross-sectoral response is needed. I'm the project manager for the Glow Fouling Partnerships project which is a project uh, implemented by the International Maritime Organization. The United Nations Agency specialized in the prevention of marine and atmospheric pollution by ships has launched its strongest project so far to counteract the effects of invasive species. So the science 
is actually raising the flag and say, hey, we need to do something about this. And the objective is to promote uh, the uptake of best management practices to deal with uh, biofouling and aquatic invasive species. The Glow Fouling Project provides guidance, training courses and awareness tools that will help governments, ocean industries and ports to improve the way they manage biofouling. From the industry side, the industry is helping and is part of the solution to this problem. By investing in innovative and eco-friendly technologies, the industry can prevent introduction of invasive aquatic species. So there is really a hope that at the end of the day we will manage to minimize this risk. And we need to do this now actually because we are already witnessing the degradation of the marine biodiversity.